We're running errands. Good, beautiful morning, everyone. We checked out of our two room cabin at the KOA. We're gonna wait till later to check into our one room. We're gonna actually go run some errands today and Teddy said he wanted to vlog it. I wasn't going to, but when baby boy requests it, I'll give it a go. So what do we do, Teddy? Yeah. Flabby Dose, a tasty treat, and a belly twist, I gave up hands on all right let's go everybody is packed we're trying to figure out how to pack a small car we had a minivan and previously to that two different jeeps so this has become an experience first step was to get gas and i got regular unleaded which you see right now is listed at 339 however i cashed in reward points and I used the Wawa app to get my gas and so using 500 points that I cashed in I got 15 cents off a gallon so the gas that I got was actually 324. Yeah. Teddy has a new kind of favorite water. What is your new favorite water for us water. to get you? Water. And what does it help you do? Get smarter. You get smarter if you drink the smart water? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mark's trying to put away the air compressor. The, the line for getting air here at Wawa because Wawa has free air always notorious for being super long so we just dug out our own compressor and did it everybody ready to go we're we're still right there here in the neighborhood Davenport we're on the same road as the KOA the Wawa is at the end of this road and we thought Sebastian could use a good wash so we're gonna go through the car wash with you as our next errand of choice right here behind Wawa we chose the volcano wash $18 but then we had a problem because I just handed my debit card because most places will use your debit card as a debit credit and that wasn't I had to stop and dig out one that's just a credit card which I had to dig into my purse to grab so here we go he wants you to go forward honey well this is certainly Lucy's first time through a car wash with us I'll have to get some window wipes later too so we can wash both Lucy drool and Teddy drool off their windows huh daddy volcano wash Teddy looks them as much as Lucy does, so we need some wipes to wipe the inside of the window. What do you think, Lucy? What are they doing, honey? What are they doing to Sebastian, huh? Under the sea, huh, Sebastian? Under the sea. Sebastian needs a good wash. We're starting to get pollen here in Florida. Not to mention where we live, we live right on the ocean, right off Florida Bay. We get a lot of salt on our vehicles down there in Flamingo. So really is good if you live anywhere near salt water to wash your vehicles often. Sebastian probably thinks this is super fun, huh? <gasps> what is that, Lucy? What is that, honey? Welcome to the car wash. What do you think? You like the volcano wash you chose, Teddy? Teddy chose this selection. He wanted the volcano wash. I always find them relaxing. Comment below if you like car washes just to relax in. Handling it all in stride. Like, huh, yeah, okay. What do you think, Lucy, of those? Who knows? Maybe dogs find it relaxing too, huh, Dad? Comment below also. Let us know if your fur babies like to go through car washes. I know our child does. Teddy loves it when we go through a car wash. Always has. I wonder if dogs in general like car washes. All right, well, we have gassed up, aired up, washed up. We have beverages. 
some of the beverages make us smarter. Now I guess we can finally leave Davenport and go find some other trouble to get into. 78 degrees. We're here about quarter past 10 a.m. on a fine looking Saturday morning. Obviously, like most car washes, you could stop and do the free vacuum too and stuff, but we have stuff everywhere. We're not gonna vacuum today, but you could do that here if you needed to, included with your wash. The crew has decided for a little day trip here. We're going to travel northbound on Highway 27, which is actually what you see us, the same road you see us come up from, from South Florida when we come up to Davenport. So we're continuing past Davenport. We're gonna go north on 27 up to Claremont. And then if we're still feeling up to it, possibly cut from Claremont down like 50, Highway 50 to Winter Garden, and then kind of work our way kind of round it about, maybe up four or whatever, back over here to the Davenport KOA, because we're checking back into the Davenport KOA tonight. I couldn't get the two bedroom cabin for the whole weekend. I had to split stay it. So that's another reason why we're deciding to do errands today is we don't have anywhere safe for Lucy to stay. So we're just gonna have a family day riding out about and showing you these areas of Central Florida. So the area we're in, if you watch or read a lot and hear the term Four Corners, this is the Four Corners region here in Central Florida. And why they call it Four Corners is there's a spot up here where four counties meet. Here in Davenport, we're technically in Polk County. Claremont's technically in Lake County. And then Kissimmee is technically in Osceola County, but you also have a little tiny speck where Orange County touches as well, because Winter Garden is technically Orange County. So right up here where 192 connects with 27, all four counties meet and touch, and that's why it's called the Four Corners region. Now we're taking the little turn here, not turn, but that turn is 192, otherwise known as Erlo Bronson Memorial Highway. That would take you down through the stretch, down towards where you turn to go to Disney World, all that. Now we're in Lake County, we're in Claremont. This is the neighborhood we first lived in when we moved to Florida from Maine in 2012. June 1st, 2012, we started our Florida journey with Mark's first position at Walt Disney World driving the ferry boats and stuff. When we moved down from Maine, it was my first time living anywhere besides the state of Maine. And we moved here to Kagan Crossings. We've actually lived at Kagan Crossings twice. We lived at Kagan Crossings our first time living in Florida. And then right when COVID hit, we had just nicely moved back into Kagan Crossings. And then of course, as it did with a lot of people's worlds, COVID blew up our world pretty bad. But here you are, Kagan Crosses neighborhood of Four Corners. Florida. So if you were to turn left, you'd go to our old apartment there, Kagan Cross. Yeah. And to the right is Walmart. And now, still going north on Highway 27. We're gonna go up past like Showcase Citrus, uh, the turn off to go like to High Lochi where I used to like to hike. Oh my word. I know there's a Dairy Queen here in the neighborhood now. I used to travel all the distance. To I know. Dairy. Five Guys, my gosh. Oh wow, Five Guys. Everything, everything has grown up astronomically since our first time living here in Central Florida in 2012. So we are gonna take 27 up to Claremont. Look at this big swamp buggy. We're gonna pull in here to showcase of citrus, one of our Oh, no. relocated. Wow. <laughs> we haven't been through here in a while. Look, relocated. They have a different entrance and that old store is no longer in use and the playground and all that. Wow. Uh, I'm going to have to dig up some old footage of that. Make sure I, wow. I'm glad we came up here. I was not expecting that. This that old barn and that old playground and stuff. I know. Yeah. Wow. This is this is all new as compared to wow the way it 
used to be even, oh my gosh, when was the last time we stopped here? It probably has been a while, actually, now that I think of it, but. Wow, I wasn't expecting that at all. You did? You did. You knew? I mean, and this is great. Don't don't get me wrong. Don't get my hesitation wrong, folks. I think this is is great. They've been growing and growing and growing for years. But sometimes when places grow, all of a sudden you realize, oh, I miss the old place too. I mean, I'm sure they moved a lot over here, obviously. But wow, I was not expecting this at all. See, the shark is still here. See, it's all still here. Yeah. They just upgraded. The boys went up ahead of us to make sure it was okay to bring a pet, and it does appear it is. So I've leashed up Lucy, and we're gonna head on in. Keep a view here at the old John Deere tractor and the silo. Swamp buggy just came in for a tour from a tour. They're unloading from one tour. Wow, this is exciting. I'm really excited for them. Really am. Mark just texted me and said it looks like quite the thing. They still have the hanging shark like they used to have. The sign that has all the mileages, the wheel. I love that this says Bigfoot Preserve and Outpost. Outpost. Of course, here in Florida, you'd be talking about skunk ape. Teddy found a cat to say hi to. Comes Lucy and Mom, what are you doing? You cowboy? You practicing for Texas? <gasps> you caught a teddy! Look, we caught a teddy! I think Mark's been doing some clips too. I'll make sure to get his out of the Google Cloud, but Teddy's getting ready for Texas! This is so... You know, any thoughts you have of, oh, I'm going to miss the old place, are quickly gone the minute you walk into this new property, this new setup. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if we'll get to show you all of it today because it's warm and I don't know how long we'll all last, but somebody's loving it, Daddy. She's like, oh, I get to come too? Yeah. I was sitting there. It was nice. Look at the food trucks, the petting zoo. Oh, this is gorgeous. All kinds of animals. Teddy was over there just petting cats. You have one of those gem mines that's popular. Yeah, this is, this is so nice. I'm trying to make sure I get some still photos too. I'm gonna have to hand Lucy off to daddy so I can go find the restroom facility. So they have awesome music, but it is heavily copyrighted. So I'm just gonna do some short clips to show you around while I talk very much over it and try not to get a copyright strike. But yeah, this is awesome. This is all so very awesome. They still have just a lot of the old favorites. Look, they even have a photo booth up here that you can do. Look at the gator. So many, so many cool things from their previous place, a lot of new stuff I'm noticing. This is so awesome. Another little look here at everything. Another cool photo op. And of course, Honey House, the general store. Lots of good stuff in there. This is all just so very awesome. Got the Blues Brothers here. John Deere. Got a bar. Another little store area. Oh my gosh, this is all just so awesome. I'm seeing they still have a really good looking play area. And of course, in any play area, what you really want is a sandbox full of bones. There you have it. Only in Florida. I love it, it's awesome. So I'm trying my best to get a lot of shots for you guys, but if you're ever 
in the central Florida area of Claremont. If you're ever at Walt Disney World and you have your own transportation, like a rental car or your own car, and you have free time, I cannot highly recommend this enough. And I'm not gonna be able to show you even remotely enough of what's here today. But this is, I thought it was great before at the original location. I'm gonna get Mark in the shot too, but this is like what they had and upped it on steroids, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's this awesome. is amazing. Where did our child go? He's over in the house. Oh, okay. Oh, I should have known. Yeah. Mark has gone in the store to walk around. Teddy's over in that playhouse there on the other side of this pigeon coop. Lucy and I are just hanging out in the shade. She's doing real good. She, she'll like lay down for a little bit and then there's so much movement. She gets up and looks around. I wish she just kind of <laughs> lay down and relax a little bit. But it's not really hot right now, especially in the shade. And there's a beautiful breeze blowing. She's doing phenomenal. And Teddy's loving that little playhouse. I'll take you over and show you in a bit if I can. Teddy just keeps going from one thing to the other to the other. Hi, honey. So I went and got us a small orange slushie. And they were really sweet when I said, can I have some water for my dog? And she put it in a nice little bowl that would be easy for Lucy to drink out of. So Lucy's getting a good drink. And we're just going with a small one to split as a family. They do have kind of obviously a high natural sugar content, but still we might have other treats today. So I don't want to overdo, but wow, excited to have one more orange slushy from the showcase of citrus before we move to Texas. I apologize if it's windy now coming in the mic. We just did our daily short, our daily hello, hug and have a blessed day to everyone. Now we're digging into that orange slushy. I think Lucy thinks she wants orange slushy. There, girl, have a drink. Yeah. See, your water's more tasty than that orange juice to you anyway. What a beautiful view we have, though. And that breeze is gorgeous right now. The wind's blowing really hard to say this, but I was just explaining to Teddy that this used to be one of his Mimi Barnum's, Mark's mom's favorite them. things to come do when she'd visit us in Florida. She loved coming to Showcase of Citrus to get these orange slushies. We're gonna go wrangle up Teddy and head out, but I wanted to show this like old tram trolley. That is adorable. Teddy wanted to give me the tour of his house, he calls it. He even got a porch swing. Look at that, Lucy. You can't go in there, Lucy, honey. We're just gonna watch Bub for a while. He's gonna show us his cabin. I like these dinosaurs because they remind me of going out west there with the Sinclair. I can't, honey. I gotta hold Lucy back here. There you go. You figured it out. Good job. Work it out. Work it out, Teddy. One of his favorite shows is Work It Out Wombats. So whenever he does something really good or we're encouraging him to do something, thinking it out on his own, we always kind of change the theme song to Work It Out Teddy instead of Work It Out Wombats. So he learns to work it out on his own. Mark went in, I don't know if I said it, Mark went in to look for a jam or a jelly to have at the house. We like to support agritourism and local farms whenever we can, wherever we roam. I grew up in a family of small, just family farms, but still, I really do support farming and agriculture and agritourism, which is kind of what this is, is agritourism, a mixture of farming and tourism. He's sitting in there having a tea party all by himself. <laughs> How cute. You washing your dishes? Well, that's very helpful. Thank you. You can buy food to feed the animals here inside the store. We're not gonna do that today. But Mark had to point out this funny sign to Teddy. Caution when feeding donkey and pony may bite or two. <laughs> Teddy thought that was funny, obviously. Lucy's like, this is fun. Can I hurt him? Can I hurt him? Yeah. Hi, Mr. Turkey. Oh, yes, you're handsome. All right. Well, we'll definitely have to do more another day. I don't know when, because we're leaving Florida in like a month, but wow. Uh, Mark went ahead of me too much. I was going to ask him if we could get this and take it to Texas. I could put this to some good use out west on some of that BLM land. That is sweet. 
so not only was it as good as we always remembered it being, because that thing has grown and grown and grown since we first moved here in 2012. Yeah. That was phenomenal. I cannot recommend that enough. That's like a 10 out of 10, especially being dog friendly. Yeah. And good restrooms. Yeah. Uh, thing for something for every member of your family possible. Teddy wants to come back tomorrow. Yeah, he wants to come back tomorrow. So what did you buy? You went in the store and got some goodies. I bought some blueberry butter. And then there was some kind of deal where you got another one. So I would suck it into getting uh, pumpkin butter. And then I bought a uh, coffee cup that says showcase the citrus with a gator on it. Yeah, we we have problems with coffee mugs. Um, whether we buy them because we actually want to use them for coffee and tea or cocoa, or we use them all over bookshelves to, to hold pens, nice nice to hold one. change, to hold you name it. So that seems to be our yeah, thing we keep picking up because I picked up a Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort mug. So I, when he came out with that, yeah, my heart was like, oh, yeah, baby, thank you for thinking of that. And I would show you, but they're in the back where they're nice and secure and won't get banged around and broken. So we'll have to show you on maybe next home vlog or something. We'll tie that in. So, all right. Well, we are so glad we decided to stop. And yeah. where do you suppose is that going to be our next stop? What's your vote? Uh, probably Goodwill. Okay, we're gonna head on up the road into the deeper part of Claremont. A lot of people up in Claremont don't even consider down here the real Claremont, so we'll head up to the real Claremont. I know the air conditioner's cranked, blowing it out, but so I apologize for the background noise, but I wanted to show you, like, this part when you leave Four Corners, you do kind of start to go through a small little flow of rolling hills, well, as good as you're gonna get in Florida. There's a really nice state park here in this neighborhood, Lake Louisa. Sadly, we've never stayed there. We kept saying we were gonna, we were gonna, we were gonna, and it just never, never happened. Timing just wasn't right. But I've heard great things about it, and it would be another choice if you wanted to be near Walt Disney World, but stay in like a tent or RV, or they do have cabins as well, and you don't mind driving onto property a little bit. Like, if you want a little bit of nature and you're Disney too, then Lake Louisa would be another good option. But it is beautiful countryside. Well, looks like our afternoon storms are considering building, hasn't it? Yeah. So Mark went into the Goodwill here in Claremont. He didn't have any luck. So I wasn't going to go in, actually. And he encouraged me, go ahead, go in, take a look. We're fine waiting in the car. And actually, I did. I... <laughs> got myself quite a few pairs of shorts and a couple of things for Teddy so I'm glad he encouraged me well it's gonna be steamy this afternoon no wonder we got some storm clouds brewing I guess next probably is lunch we opted for curbside Cracker Barrel went ahead and got ourselves the app start earning some reward points on it since it does have things like grilled trout grilled catfish. Then there's options for me. There's a lot of sides to choose from too. Um, I was really excited to find that like their fried apples and their fried okra, which are my two favorite sides, actually are dairy free. So I obviously probably can't have the biscuits or the corn muffins, but that's okay because Teddy will take mine to go along with his pancakes. That's what everybody enjoys, right? Confetti pancakes with biscuits. Correct. So we put our order in. Mark is having their Saturday special, which is the, what was it? A country fried pork chop? Yes. You're excited about that, I that bet. That sounds very good. And you chose dumplings and fried apples. Yes. And you'll eat Teddy's bacon. Yes. <laughs> it's like everybody switches their meals around. You have this, you have that. <laughs> moo moo shiroo. Mark just handed Teddy his chocolate milk and he goes, moo moo shiroo. So here is Teddy's confetti pancakes with bacon that Mark will probably get. Although sometimes Teddy eats bacon. Maybe if we hand it back, he might get it, then the dog might steal it. Hard to tell. But here is Teddy's kids confetti pancakes with bacon. It feels like Christmas doing this. So there is corn muffins. Those were Mark's. And Teddy's meal doesn't come with bread. But uh, I ordered biscuits with mine so Teddy can have my biscuits. 
I don't know, but we have really good lighting the way the sun is filtering in here right now. We have shaded trees and good lighting. So here is Mark's Saturday special. Country fried pork chop with his gravy and his dumplings and his fried apples. And it looks pretty scrumptious. So that, yeah. This, this is much better. Saturday. <laughs> We're really excited about this Cracker Barrel, and I'll explain why. And not to be overly negative, but the one in Florida City just is well we've had very bad experiences with to put it that way so to come back and go to a cracker barrel again and it looks like what we know cracker barrel to look like i mean i can't eat his pork chops but they look delicious and i can't wait to see what his opinion is of them but yeah we're excited this looks like the cracker barrel we've always known and love in this little bag of like with butter and stuff because teddy got pancakes you get this whole little mini bottle of maple syrup pure maple syrup and teddy won't use it but we'll We'll add it to our condiment thing because I'm sure Mark will use this sometime, somewhere, at home or whatever. But that's pretty cool, you know, a little yeah. mini bottle. Here is my lemon pepper rainbow trout with the fried apples and the fried okra. Really excited. This is dairy free. All this, it looks scrumptious. Oh, that food was scrum diddly umptious all around. <laughs> I devoured every ounce of mine with joy and glee. So much gratitude to have something alpha gal friendly. We'll see, supposedly. We'll know a few hours if it really was okay or not. Mark loved his. He said his pork chop was tender, flavorful. Teddy still juicy. mowing juicy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. I don't care if you say the moist word. It's, it's a word. It's an adjective. There's nothing wrong with it. Anyway, Teddy is still working on his scrumptious stuff, and he surprised us. He did actually, yeah, you want to go left. He did actually eat some of his bacon. Pets don't have grocery stores. Pets don't have grocery stores. No, you're, you're right, but they have pet cow. Everything was eatable, wasn't it? I mean, edible. <laughs> eatable. Edible. It's from our game. Yeah, your Willy Wonka game. Teddy has lived in really mountainous regions, but he was really young. He doesn't remember it. When we last were out west, my gosh, he was only two years old. He's now almost six, so he doesn't really have memory of anything besides Florida and East Coast up to Maine and back. So he, he's looking ahead at these kind of very small hills and he goes that looks fun how it goes up and down like that so it took cool. me forever to realize what he was talking about he That's goes good wow wow does it look like an amusement park ride no, no? It's, just hills. it's just hills but it just cracked me as funny. It took me forever because he goes, that's cool, Mom, up and down and up and down. I'm like, what is he talking about? So we are working our way back down 27. We decided to just work our way back towards the KOA. We might stop at the Walmart down in Four Corners, but I mean, yeah, the Walmart. We didn't really want to work. It's getting late in the afternoon now, and we've had a lot of fun. We want to maybe go check into the okay. KOA and maybe take a little rest and see if we want to do something else tonight. Yeah, so, Hey, there's a Dutch Brothers coffee here too now. I noticed one down in Davenport and there's one up here in Claremont. Oh. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work our way back towards oh, Four Corners, oh. stop at Walmart, oh, and then continue on back to the KOA. So if anything exciting happens <laughs> in the rest of our journey, stay tuned come back and if not you'll see me come back and close it out eventually.